No pain, no gain. No, that's not correct. This, this is one of the many sayings. In fact, most are wrong. Uh, all is fair in love and war. But it's not correct. It's not correct. So people think you have to suffer in order to get somewhere. We're ready for a life of, 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 of work, hard work, and I will only be happy uh, when I finish uh, high school and graduate university. And then when I graduate university, I'll get a good job. And after that, after some years of hard work, I'll get a car. No, that's not true. That's the rat race, hedonic adaptation. It's marvelous, fantastic that science now can be used for research and we see what makes people happy. And we also understand now Daniel Gilbert, Harvard professor, stumbling upon happiness. We think we'll be happy in different circumstances, but actually it turns out we're not. That's the California myth and other uh, prejudiced ideas about happiness that turn out to be wrong. Uh, once you move to California, you adapt to the good things, the palms, the beach, the sun, whatever, and you're more focused, that's human nature, along millennia of evolution, we've been programmed to pay attention to what's dangerous, to what's negative, because you'd rather be wrong a hundred times when something moves in the bush and not be lunch, than be lunch. Uh, so, we adapt to all these good things and we concentrate on the small, on pollution, on, on so many other things. So, you have to find out what makes you uh, tick, what makes you happy. And once you do that, you, you can have a, a chart or other means and then you, you, you find this, this makes me really uh, makes me feel really good, make me really happy, and then you need to dedicate much more time to that because we, we find out that we spend so much time on things we we rather not do. Uh, well, if we have to, we have to, that's one aspect, but we can change our schedule uh, and we can refer to the Stoics. Seneca said, it's not a question of having too little time, life is not short really, it's what we do with it and the intensity. Flow, Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, he talks about the need for concentration in order to, in order to reach uh, a peak experience. We can also refer to Dostoevsky. Uh, he was sentenced to death and he, he had only three minutes uh, facing the uh, firing squad. And he talks about these three minutes in details. I'm not going into that evidently. But then he, there's an, uh, uh, an amnesty order. He's pardoned and he talks about this in his masterpieces, uh, what the um, condemned uh, to death uh, thinks uh, when he's facing death and how he would rather be on a bare rock in the middle of the ocean than die. And therefore we can get from this and other uh, such experiences from the science of today which confirms this. We need to live in the present, Carpe Diem. Uh, on that issue you can, you can see you can watch that boy society, Robin Williams, one of the very significant films, Field of Dreams and so many others, pay forward and you see this and get a sense of what you can do, there's so many amazing things you can do with your life. Uh, f f first of all, be grateful, we can refer and maybe end here this note with something from the uh, Jewish wisdom. A man goes to the rabbi and says, look, I'm not happy. Um, okay, do you have a horse? <coughs> yes. Well, if you want my advice, then you take the, ho the horse in the house, in the park, in the house. Uh, what do you mean, rabbi? I mean, I, I'm telling you I have issues, problems, and then you know, well, that's my well, opinion. That's why I suggest you do it. You don't, you don't. But if you do, come back in a week. And, okay, I'll try that. Of course, in the house. And after a week, comes back and the rabbi says, Okay, how is it? Oh, it's not good, rabbi. It's not working. Well, you know what you can do? <laughs> you have chicken. Yes. <laughs> Put the chicken in the house. Oh, come on. I mean, it's already. So, 
the chicken in the house, the horse, and then something else, the pig, I guess. But after a few weeks of this ordeal, this torture, if you will, uh, uh, at the end of this, the rabbi finally says, okay, you take them out when you come back. And the man comes back after a week, and the rabbi is evidently, obviously, asking, how is it? Wow, it's so good. Rabbi, it's so good. Huh? You see? The point being, of course, you, you have it by now, that we don't appreciate what we have. It takes something like this to really see it, really see how great we are. And one of the rules of happiness is understand, realize you're happy, and then you'll be even happier.